this video we will solve two exponential equations and the first one is 9 raised to the 3x plus 2 equals 1 over 27 raised to the 4x minus 1. If in this equation we can write both sides as a power of the same base then we can use the following property. If b to the x power is equal to b to the y's power and b is positive and is not equal to 1, then x equals y. This property is called the 1 to 1 property and it tells us that if the base is the same on both sides of an equation, then the exponents will be equal. In the given equation, on one side the base is 9 and on the other side the base is 1 over 27. Notice that both 9 and 27 represent powers of 3. We can write 9 as 3 squared and we can write 27 as 3 cubed. So then, in this equation, we will replace 9 with 3 squared, then we will replace 27 with 3 cubed. Then we will have 3 squared raised to the 3x plus 2 equals... 1 over 3 cubed raised to the 4x minus 1. Now in the next step we will use the negative exponent rule to move 3 cubed up to the numerator. According to this rule if we have an exponential expression in the denominator and if we move it up to the numerator then the exponent changes the sign. So if we move 3 cubed up to the numerator then it will become 3 to the power of negative 3. Then we will have the following 3 squared raised to the 3x plus 2 equals 3 to negative 3 raised to the 4x minus 1. Now in the next step we will use the power rule for exponents. The power rule tells us that if we have an exponential expression x to the m's power and we raise it to another exponent n, then these two exponents will multiply. According to this property, on the left side we will multiply 2 by 3x plus 2 and on the right side we will multiply negative 3 by 4x minus 1. Then we will have 3 to the 2 times 3x plus 2 equals 3 to the negative 3 times 4x minus 1. And now once the bases are the same, we will set the exponents equal to each other. So we will write that 2 times 3x plus 2 equals negative 3 times 4x minus 1. Here we will use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. Then 2 times 3x is 6x. 2 times 2 is 4. Then on the right side, negative 3 times 4x is negative 12x. And negative 3 times negative 1 is plus 3. Now to isolate x on the left side, first I will add 12x to the left then I will subtract 4 from the right. Then I will have 6x plus 12x equals 3 minus 4. Then 18x equals negative 1. And if we divide both sides by 18, we will get that x equals negative 1 over 18. So we found the solution to this exponential equation. And the solution is negative 1 over 18. Now let's solve the next exponential equation. Here we have 8 to the x power multiplied by square root of 2 equals cube root of 2 to the x minus 5. Inside each of these radicals we have number 2 and notice that we can also write number 8 as 2 cubed. So first in place of 8 to the x power, we will write 2 cubed to the x power. Next, we will use the rule for the rational exponents to rewrite square root of 2. This rule tells us that we can rewrite the nth root of x as x to the power of 1 over n. According to this rule, 
we can write square root of 2 as 2 to the power of 1 over 2. So, because in this expression the exponent of x is 1 and the index of the radical is n, then the exponent is 1 over n. In this example, the exponent of 2 is 1 and the index is 2, then the exponent is 1 over 2. Then in our equation, in place of square root of 2, we will write 2 to 1 half. Now on the right side, we have another radical and the exponent of 2 is 1 and the index is 3. Therefore, we can write this as 2 to the power of 1 over 3. Then we will close the parentheses and we will raise to the x minus 5. Now in the next step, we will apply the power rule that will allow us to multiply 3 and x and 1 third by x minus 5. Then we will have 2 to the 3x times 2 to 1 half equals 2 to the 1 third multiplied by x minus 5. Now on the left side, we will apply the product rule that tells us that if we multiply two expressions that have the same base, we just need to add the exponents. So we will keep the same base and we will add 3x and 1 half. Then on the right side, we will have 2 to 1 third times x minus 5. And now once the bases are the same, we will set the exponents equal to each other. So then we will write that 3x plus 1 half equals 1 over 3 times x minus 5. Then we will use the distributive property to remove the parentheses. Then 3x plus 1 half equals 1 over 3x minus 5 over 3. Next, I will isolate x on the left side, so I will have 3x minus 1 over 3x equals negative 5 over 3 minus 1 half. So I subtracted 1 third x and I also subtracted 1 half. Now to be able to combine the like terms, we need to get the same denominators. First, I will write 3x as 3 over 1x, then I will multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 3. Then we will have 9 over 3x minus 1 over 3x. Now on the right side, the least common denominator is 6, so we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of the first fraction by 2, then the numerator and the denominator of the second fraction by 3. Then we will have negative 10 over 6 minus 3 over 6. Then on the left side, 9 over 3x minus 1 over 3x is 8 over 3x. And on the right side, negative 10 over 6 minus 3 over 6 is negative 13 over 6. Now to solve for x, we need to eliminate the fraction 8 over 3. For this, we will multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 8 over 3, which is 3 over 8. Then on the left side, 3 cancels and 8 cancels, and we will be left with x. Then on the right side, we can divide 3 and 6 by 3 and we will get 2. Then we will get negative 13 and in the denominator 2 times 8 is 16. So here we have the solution to this exponential equation. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.